Hi friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Shimmers design team and if you leave my name in the comment section of your next Shimmers orders, Shimmers order, you'll get a freebie. And this is very different from what I usually do. I am going to use neutrals in my layout. You know me, I use a lot of big bold colors, lots of colors, but here I'm sticking to neutrals. So I chose this wood grain paper as my base and I'm adding some splatters of white acrylic paint and also some brush strokes with the white paint as well. That's the picture that I'm going to be documenting. I don't trim it down, it's a true four by six and I just work my layout around it. And I also want to use these two texture textures from well, obviously, Shimmer's Paints. And the colors that I use are Gritty Graphite and Gold Mine. And what I love about these textures is that they are very gritty. When you are adding, uh, when you're applying it to your layout, you get that little crunchiness of a paste that has some texture to it. And then to further play with the neutrals i pulled out shimmers coal misty morning minor minor 49er and penny for your thoughts and i'm gonna add these later on in splatters so what i did with my picture i just matted it on some white cardstock then i placed it on some craft foam to give it some dimension and here i just grab a palette knife and use gold mine and I'm just adding scrapes of it I'm not using any stencil I'm just adding it like just literally scraping it onto each of the white strips of paint and then yeah I, cl I clean up my palette knife and then grab the other one, the gritty graphite, which is a, which is an awesome gray color. And I also do the same. I don't mind if the two colors mix together or whatnot, because it'll, um, I, I like how it looks mixed together. And the inspiration behind this is the same picture that I'm going to be documenting. My sons are just sitting at the beach and I wanted to really pull the like the sandy color and the gray color for, of the sky into my layout. So with every texture paste you have to set it aside to dry a bit. You can use your heat gun to dry it but um, I don't I didn't want to and typically when I set something aside to dry I go ahead and start work, working my way around the layout and I wanted to use this um, this sort of ropey thread that I have I think it's called jute um, so I'm going to be adding it sort of like a quote-unquote shelf beneath my picture and it's there for the purpose of whenever I think of summertime not summertime particularly but beach photos I like that texture it's sort of like a rope and off camera while I was waiting for it to dry I pulled out lots of stickers and embellishments that were on the neutral side so anything that had wood grain anything that was beige cream white black gray I'm going to be using it in my layout and um, I don't go all the way crazy with the embellishments because I want I want my picture and my background to stand out more than the than the actual actual um, embellishments. So here I play around a bit with the layout, not the layout, the title. And my title is going to be a good day, and I'll be using these gold thickers. And that little square that I placed to the left-hand side of my title is where I'm going to be adding my title. And then I just go ahead and start adding my embellishments because 
it's one of those layouts that I sort of already had an idea of where I was going to be placing stuff. So it, it came about pretty quickly. Some of the embellishments, I'm popping them up on craft foam. Others, I'm just sticking, like layering them one on top of each other and whatnot. And again, trying to stay as much as I can within this neutral color scheme. And I love, I love how it turned out. It's very different from what I use. Because, you know, I usually, again, as I mentioned, I use a lot of bold colors. But this time around, I was like, I'm going to try this like this. And I love it. I love it. It's, it's great to sort of do that from time to time. And but what I mean by that is like breaking out of what you normally do so that you can um, yeah so that you can I don't know discover something new about yourself and again yes I'm rambling but <laughs> but yeah so I'm finishing up because I originally wanted to keep my clusters on the left side of my picture at the bottom and where my title is but I added an extra cluster over at the upper right hand corner of my picture because um, I felt like there with that it, it was truly balanced out and as I mentioned everything is in the neutral color scheme I go ahead and write my journaling in because what's missing of this layout is splattering four different colors of shimmers and those are and they will be written down below if they aren't written down below please let me know and I'll get on, on it I sometimes forget when I do it but the colors are coal penny for your thoughts minor minor 49er and misty morning and some of them I splatter them all around the page. Others I just splatter them um, sort of around where the clusters are. And by using all of these four colors in conjunction with the white acrylic paint, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but for me it looks like sea foam. Like when you go to the beach and the waves are crashing one on top of each, o uh, each other, um, you can like that frothiness it just reminds me of that so yeah so I got a bit of artistic and since this penny for your thoughts color is almost the same color as the wood grain it doesn't show up a lot at least at, if you don't like stare at it you don't pick it up so I just added a bit of, like some brush strokes here and there to add a pop of it and here are the close-ups I hope you like what you see I hope I've inspired you remember to hit that subscribe button like my video leave a comment down below and I'll see you back soon with another process video